Okay, there we go. So my name is Liz Priscilla. I'm a NASCAR I'm a mechanic. I'm one of three females in the Cup Series. That's the highest level in NASCAR. I work on the cars that go over 200 miles an hour. My main focus is usually the tires because we get up to 20 sets of tires a weekend. So I will focus mostly on getting those done, getting them set, getting them on the car. And part of my job is crucial because the guys can't really leave the garage unless I give them the tires. So I do pretty much everything on the race cars. I do suspension, I do body work, I help wrap the cars, I do all the tires, I've helped with engine stuff. And I have a pretty big variety of stuff I do just on the race cars. And outside of NASCAR, I actually have a clothing line for women mechanics. So I designed work pants just for female mechanics because they don't make work pants designed for a female that can withstand running air grinders, rolling around on concrete, working with sheet metal. So that's just a couple of the things I do. I also am an avid sewer. I quilt. I make fire suit quilts out of old fire suits for my friends. I have a lot of different hobbies. So I kind of do a little bit of everything, which isn't common for girls that work on cars to be able to sew as well. Thank you so much. How much cars have you made? I mean, fixed. How many cars have I fixed? Yes, that's the question they're asking, right? Each team has about 20 cars in their fleet. And so that was between two cars. So each team had about 10 ch chassis that we would build. And every week we ran a different one. So if we wrecked a car one week, we would take it back to the shop. It would go into our fab shop. They'd cut the body off it and put a new body on it. So I've worked on probably about 400 cars in the past seven years in NASCAR. What do you think of finding a mechanic? What was that? Her, her question was, what's your favorite part of being a mechanic? Just getting to watch the cars go around the track and seeing all my hard work pay off. Last year, we had an average of, I think, 23 top 20 finishes, which for the team I was at was really good because we're a smaller team with a smaller budget, and we were able to run top 15 consistently throughout the entire year out of 40 cars. How long have you been working on cars? I started working on cars when I was 15, and I've been in NASCAR for about eight years. And my grown-up question is, how do you go from being a regular mechanic to being a NASCAR mechanic? How do you make that transition? I started out as an intern with the truck team. The thing about NASCAR is it's very small. There's only... 40 teams in Cup Series, there's 35 in Xfinity and 35 in Trucks. So it's a very small community. 90% of the teams are located within 50 miles of Charlotte. So I had to start at the bottom as a Truck Series team, not getting paid for the first three months. And I interned and showed that I knew what I was doing and I proved myself to them. And then they hired me on and I just had to start at the bottom. I started putting seats in the trucks for the driver. I did decal work. I did whatever they needed me to do. And then throughout the years, I progressively moved up until I got to the cup series and got to the level I am now. She asked, what tools have you been using? I use a variety, mostly battery powered impacts is what we focus on. We use a lot of DeWalt's because they're, they're the same as Mac. They're all made by Stanley tools. So it's just a cheaper version of the Mac tools that are really expensive. But I use air saws, I use jig saws, French, anything you could imagine in a metal shop or an auto shop I've used. I use air impacts all the time. I use stomp shears that are pneumatic. I at the track, I use primarily a tire roller 
that I can put the tires on to roll them to measure them. And then I have nitrogen bottles that have air hoses on them with regulators because we don't want to blow any air hoses out. And then I have tire gauges that are all digital. And then our toolbox, we have an air compressor built into it so that we can run all the different air tools at the track. And in that we have grinders, sanders, miter saws, jigsaws, like you name it, we have it at the track with us so that we have the ability to do anything we could imagine at the track. Like if we have to replace the side of the car, we can do it at the track. So is that where you work primarily at the track or you bring things back to like a, I don't know, like a garage with a central location and work on cars there or both? Well, the way that our schedule normally is during the season, we all have a shop out in the Charlotte area, and that's where we have guys that build the cars during the week. And we'll come in the shop on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll get the car ready to go to the track. We'll nut and bolt it, make sure everything's tight, get it set up, kind of fluff and buff it to get it to the track. And we load all of our equipment into a hauler. And the hauler will leave on Wednesday to go to whatever track we're going to. Thursday, we'll fly out to the track which because we fly so often all the teams actually fly private so we have 50 passenger planes that we fly on and we fly out of the back section of the airport so we don't go through tsa we don't go through all the commercial airline stuff we just go the checker ids we get on the plane we'll go to whatever town we're going to go to the hotel then friday morning we go to the track unload everything get set up and then friday saturday sunday we have like our own little camp set up at the track and we work out of that. And then Sunday after the race, we load everything back in the hauler, go back to the shop and do it all over again. How much car has a shop? How much car have you sell? I don't sell any of the cars. I just work on them. The owners buy and sell cars all the time, but I don't get involved in that side of it. Where do you see yourself going, like in the future? I'd probably just stick with being a mechanic. I know some people like being crew chief engineer. I don't want that kind of pressure on me because a crew chief is responsible for everything. I enjoy being able to have fun while I work and not having 12 people looking up at me during the race and asking me what to do. So I'll probably just stick with being a mechanic. I want to eventually win some cup races and win championships. And I'm slowly working my way to it. A lot of guys have been doing it 15 years and have never won a championship. And I've only been at it for eight. So I've still got plenty of time to get that championship. How many tools have you used? It's hard to say. I've used a lot. I use a lot of wrenches. I use all the battery tools, I use all the power tools, I use fab tools. Probably everything that would be in a toolbox, I've used at least once. So my girls and I were watching video uh, of a pit crew because they have never seen NASCAR before and they didn't quite know what to, what to expect. What's the difference between the pit crew and then what you guys are doing? Or is it, or you guys rotate or what? Does that make sense what I'm asking? Yeah. When I started in NASCAR, I was on a smaller team and we didn't have the budget to pay for a separate pit crew. So I actually did change tires. So I would go over the wall with the air impact. I'd take the lug nuts off. I'd put a new tire on, put lug nuts back on it, go around to the other side, do the same thing. And right there in the story. What was that? Right there in the middle of the race. Car yeah. comes in. Oh, yeah. Wow. I did that for about five years before I got to the team I, I'm on now. And I mostly stopped because it's really hard on your body. And it doesn't have the longest, like, career life. Like, most tire changers only go about five to ten years changing tires because the tires do weigh 65 pounds a piece. You are running around slamming on your knees. You're doing changing four tires in 13 seconds. So it's very physically demanding. Like a lot of the guys that do it now are football players and it's harder on their bodies to change tires than it was to play football. And they all played in college. Yeah, that's what we saw that they recruit out of, out of uh, college sports. 
Or yeah, Hendrick and Joe Gibbs are the big ones that do that. Usually their pit coach will fly out on Thursday with the road mechanics and will go to the colleges around the tracks and recruit people. And like what I do now is we have separate pit crews that we pay where all they do is change tires. And that's because when you get to the cup level, the pit stops are the most important part of what we do because during the race, they make or break our race. If they get a loose wheel, that could affect our finish. Like we were running third at Bristol beginning of the year and we had a loose wheel with 20 to go. We ended up finishing 30th because we had that loose wheel. So we pay the pit crew to focus specifically on changing tires and making sure they're tight. And we work on the car and making sure it's set up and ready to go to the race. How many cars have you helped? I've worked on about five different teams over the past eight years. And a couple of those were, they needed help one weekend that I wasn't working with my primary team. So I would just go help them as a freelance mechanic. And then I would go back to my normal team on the next weekend. <laughs> well, we use standard wrenches, which is like half inch, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths. We don't use anything metric. So our wrenches go from a 532 all the way up to an inch and a half. So I've used pretty much all of those. Do you ever want to be a race car driver, like racing? Or have you ever raced? I've done like go-kart stuff, like at the ones that you just go and hang out with your friends. And I'm not much on the racing. I don't have that aggressive nature to want to be out on the border of out of control when you're driving. So I'm not much of a racer. Like I'd rather just work on them and let the guys have fun. And that's just a preference with me. Like some people enjoy that feeling of being right on the edge or pushing at your limits. And that just isn't really who I am. So I just stick to working on them. Okay. You have it. I know. I always have. Yeah, I don't. That's why I like you. <laughs> well, I'm I'm curious how you got started working with cars. It's not a typical, little typical thing that we see girls doing. Yeah. When I turned 14, I was starting to learn about learner's permit and working on getting my learner's permit. And I'd always been into NASCAR because my dad watched it. So I went to my first NASCAR race when I was 12. So I enjoyed watching NASCAR already. And then when I was getting ready to get my license, I told my dad I wanted to take auto shop just so I knew how to work on my car. I didn't want to be one of those girls that got stranded on the side of the road and couldn't change your own tire. And I wanted to at least be able to work on my car if I was going to drive it. And my first car was an 88 Camaro that I still have sitting in my garage. So I knew I needed to know something if I was going to be driving an old car. And it just grew from there. Did you go to, so I read that there is special NASCAR mechanic school. <laughs> it's a branch of UTI, which is Universal Technical Institute. And it's a, the one that's based in Charlotte is called NASCAR Tech. And that's mostly because NASCAR helps fund the programming there and they teach them more racing related stuff. It's not really a specialty school. They just have a fab department and they have a body department and they teach you set up stuff and they teach pit crew stuff, but it's just like an intro course into what they do. And I took vocational school. So I'd learned all the automotive side and then I took fab shop. I took all the other classes just so I had that fundamentals. So I can go weld on anything. I can go fabricate anything and I can go do body work on anything along with being able to change my own oil and being able to do any work on my own personal cars. How many teams have you helped? What was that? How many teams have you helped? About five or six. How many teams have you helped? Do you get to travel? Yes. I travel about 40 weeks out of the year. Pretty much from the first weekend of February is when our season starts. 
and it doesn't end usually until about Thanksgiving. It's like this year, the first week of February, we were in Daytona, and we only had three weekends off in between, and we went, we had a weekend off for Easter, because NASCAR doesn't race on Easter Sunday. We had a weekend off in June, and then our last weekend off was in August, and then I, we finished our race on the 18th, which was two weeks before Homestead, which isn't normal for us, but just with the way that the schedule fell, we ended up being two weeks before Thanksgiving. But I travel usually four to five days a week, 40 weeks out of the year. How many women mechanics would you, are there? Is it typical or? Total mechanics between the three series, there's about two. There's about five engineers, but the engineers don't typically work on the cars. They do more of the sim and the setup stuff on the cars. And how many mechanics total are there? There's you know, about 800 in just the cup series. So two out of 800. Yeah, I'm the only one that actually works on the car in the cup side. Each wow. team's allowed 18 people at the track and there's 40 teams. Do people mistake you often for some other role? I've been mistaken for a PR person sometimes, but since I do tires, it's a lot of physical demanding stuff and I'm usually with my tires. So at first, they'll, they usually have to double take because I, always, I have long hair and I like keeping my hair pulled back. So I usually have French braids in my hair and sometimes I do pigtails just depending on my mood. And they'll always double take because I'm in the same crew shirt as all the rest of the guys and usually I'm covered in grease just with the rest of them. And they'll have to kind of look and be like, what, what does she do? Or they'll come ask me, well, what do you do for the team? And when I tell them I do tires, they don't believe me because the tires weigh 65 pounds and I'm not a very tall person. I'm about 5'5". Five five. So when I'm standing next to a set of tires, they go up to about my shoulder. Do you have to work on your strength at all? Is that something you just kind of build over the years to be able to lift that much? Does it impact like your body at all? It's a little hard on my back just because I am short, but I go to the gym two to three days a week just to make my job easier. Like I could do my job just from doing it over the years, but it's a lot easier if I work out. So I just do like TRX and car light cardio. I play soccer still I've played soccer my whole life and so I still play in an adult league over here just to help me keep that extra bit because the guys that don't work out and try to do the job they end up when we're in 120 degree heat they have a harder time doing the job versus me who's in shape and works out and maintains my shape Do you guys have any more questions? Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice night. You too.